Hello everyone, this is John Jenkins, and I am starting this, uh, I'm making this video to, uh, to inform you that I'm starting a new book. So, let me go on ahead and, hold on a sec, let me go on ahead and do this right quick. So, hello everyone, uh, Hold on a sec and let me see if I have this correctly. So, all right. So, um, okay. All right, anyway. I, um, I work on this new book. So, the tentative title uh, is to be the richest and the subtitle is what would I do okay so to be the richest what would I do and basically I've been thinking about this for for a while um, Long story short, long story short, I had read a, uh, I had read a, I read a quote by Felix Dennis, who was the, uh, the founder of Maxim Magazine in the UK. So I read a quote by Felix Dennis, uh, who was the founder of Maxim Magazine. And he's a, he's, he's basically a, a, a he had, he had, he had a net worth of $500 million the last time I, I read his book. Anyway, uh, so he said that, to, I'm, I'm paraphrasing what he said, I'm, I'm paraphrasing what he said. So he said that, you know, uh, if you get, if you, if you pay, to, to paraphrase what he said in his book, he said, if you get all of your bills paid without having to provide anything in return, then you are the richest person in the world. Uh, but that that's not that's not exactly what he said. I'm, I'm just paraphrasing. So he said that if you get all of your bills paid without having to provide anything in return, then you are the richest person in the world. Uh, so because of, because of, primarily because of that quote, I had set uh, I had set the goal to be the richest person in the world. And uh, basically, basically the reason was that I that I, I, I fit the I fit I fit the description of what he was talking about. I get I get all my bills paid without having to provide anything at all. I'm not you know I'm not getting I'm not getting paid to do YouTube. I'm not getting paid to do anything. I just do whatever I want, and I get and I get all my bills paid. So, uh, so because of that quote, it, it led me to set the goal to be the richest person in the world. And basically I had convinced myself that I already was due to my understanding of that Felix Dennis quote. Uh, so basically one of the, one of the strategies, so basically the, the main strategy was to, was to do like the, you know, to do like the 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 the, the group the, the the personal develop, personal development people say is that you have to believe that you already have the goal, and then you'll get the goal. So, and then you know Earl Nightingale says that the second you the second you set a goal, you already have it. So basically, I was thinking that you know uh, one of the strategies that I could use. Basically, my thing was was that like if you. Uh, one famous uh, quote by Les Brown, the motivational speaker, was that if you loot, if you shoot for the moon, you'll land among the stars. And I know that sound, I know that's you know scientifically incorrect, but what he was saying is that uh, you know if you uh, if you work if you work like a if you work. So basically, the way I interpret that is, if I work like I, if I work at the level, uh, if I work at the level of, uh, if I work at, at at the level of Jeff Bezos or 
Elon Musk or whatever, if I work as hard as those people work, if I work with the same level of uh, effort and the same level of determination, I probably won't be as rich as they are, but uh, at least I'll make something cool. Like I was able to make uh, a bunch of stuff, you know, over the years. I was able to make a, a lot, a whole lot of stuff. And uh, so basically I was like, you know, at least I'll be able to make something cool that I can that I can show off on YouTube or, or show off on, you know, DeviantArt or whatever, or on, on Twitter, stuff like that. So at least I can have, you know, a quick, a quick you know, one minute clip or maybe like a, a super long video like this one. Anyway, uh, so, uh, so I was like, you know, the, the last Brown quote, if you shoot for the moon, you'll land among the stars. So if I work like I want to be the richest person in world history, then I'll at least make something that looks cool, that, that has some sort of nice terrain to it, you know? Uh, for example, uh, 2024 was the first year that I had three, uh, three viral videos on my channel within three months. So 2024 was the first year that I had three, three organic viral videos on my channel within three months. And uh, so, like, like, like I said, if you work like you want to be the richest person in the world, you you probably you probably won't be the richest person in the world, but you'll do, you'll do like you'll have you you have like some. So like a, a feather in your cap or a penny in your a feather in your cap or a penny in your penny loafer stuff like that uh, to borrow, to borrow a, a really old uh, colloquialism <laughs> so anyway uh, basically I want to I one of my strategies for becoming the richest person in the world was to write a book on how to become a richest person in the world. So, uh, basically, I want I wanted to write like a 500 word behemoth or a 600 word, uh, like uh, like Awaken the Giant Within by uh, Awaken the Giant Within by uh, uh, Tony Robbins. So I wanted to I wanted to write a a, a, a 600 page uh, be him off like 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 all the Tony Robbins books, just just absolutely uh, full of you know useful information stuff like that. But uh, I don't ha I don't have the book on this I don't have the book on this desk. At least I don't, at least I don't think so. No, that's not it. So anyway, I I I, I want to write I want to write a ninety page book. Uh, well, this is sort. This is a. This is a. This is a little bit over a hundred. This is basically a little bit over hundred fifty pages. No, it's actually over two hundred pages. So this is over two hundred pages. Uh, so. So this is uh the the Anne Marie Sabbath the Anne Marie Sabbath book. Uh, what what self made millionaires do that most people don't. Uh, so I wanted to write a book that's more like this one. So, but, 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 but the book I was modeling myself after was, uh, the book I was modeling myself after was The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Classen. So that book is, uh, 90 pages long. That, I've, I've read it multiple times. It's 90 pages long. I believe it's not, well, I, I, I guess, I, I'm not sure if the, uh, I'm not sure if the the introduction counts towards the page count, but anyway, that book is ninety pages long, and uh, it sold five million copies as of as of when my edition was printed. It's probably sold much more as of now. Hold on a sec. Uh. How many copies has the richest man in Babylon sold? 
two million copies. I'm sorry, it's only sold two million copies. Over two million copies. All right, so it sold over two million copies. So anyway, the richest man in Babylon sold over two million copies. It's one of the uh, it's one of the seminal it's one of the sem seminal works on personal development. Plus, it was uh, plus it was uh, uh, ninety pages long. It was only ninety pages long, and let's see. I believe I, I don't remember what the so if, if so um so so two hundred so two hundred forty two hundred forty uh words per page. I'm assuming it's about two hundred and forty words per page times times ninety pages means that the book was just over the the I I I'm pred I'm estimating that the book was just over twenty thousand words. So that's nothing for me. I've written almost I've written almost a hundred thousand words for some of my books. So anyway, um, so anyway, I wanted to write a little bit over twenty thousand words for this book, and uh, what? The, uh, so I wanted to write a little bit over twenty thousand words for this book. And get to ninety pages, and um, uh, yeah, that's that's what I wanted to do. So I, I did I did originally like I said I did originally want to write a a a a, a, moth, a moth like uh, like Tony Robbins book, but um, I really don't think that I have the skill to do that because I mean I mean it, it would just take way it would it would take so much to write a book that that long and I've never I've, ne I've never written over a hundred thousand words I've never actually I don't think I've ever written over uh, 40,000 words for a nonfiction book I believe I believe the highest I got was about 35,000 or possibly Possibly twenty five thousand for a nonfiction book. I've I've written longer fiction books, but I've never written a long uh, nonfiction book. So anyway, I was thinking that I could write twenty thousand words, get to nine ninety pages, twenty one thousand words, twenty one thousand five hundred words, and get to ninety pages, and then uh, I could release. I could keep that as sort of like a. a uh, an instruction manual of how to uh, achieve my ultimate goal. So that's the plan. I want to write uh, the book "To Be the Richest." What would I do? Which is a which is a guide, which is a guide primarily to myself, to myself before anyone else, of how I would like to uh, uh, become the richest person in the world, if at all possible. So anyway, uh, like I said before, um, so anyway, like I said before, um, I want to write this book and this is what I'm going to do right now. I, I'm going to do the 39 for this book. So why don't I do just type thirty nine, and uh, why don't I do this as well? Uh, I don't. So basically, this this is the explanation for the thirty nine. So basically, I, I read this book a long time ago on how to write a novel, and the book said basically if you can express the the, the idea of the book in exactly thirty nine words. Then you have a, a real story. You have a real story that can be turned into a book. Now, of course, that applied to that primarily applied to uh, fiction books. It, it applied to novels. 
but it can also apply to nonfiction books. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write a 39 word outline of the book and that's gonna be it for this video. So here we go. And I started off, I started off with, uh, I started off with 10 words. So when I'm done, it should be about 49 words total. So, okay. If you wanted to be the richest person on earth, what would you do? Who would you talk to? Where would you go? What would you say? Um, John. So let me confirm that this is 39. Okay. All right, this is exactly 39, 39 of 49 words. So, so this is the 39. Okay, let me read it to make sure it makes sense. Okay, if you want to be the richest person on, on earth, what would you do? Who would you talk to? Where would you go? What would you say? John Jenkins intends to find the answers to these life-altering, transformative questions. All right, it's really so. I really like the find because, uh, because you know the the old quote. The old quote is that you know you should revere the per you should revere the person who uh, is searching for the truth. But you should be wary of the person who finds the truth. <laughs> you should revere the person who searches for the truth, but you should be wary of the person who finds the truth. Uh, so that's why I like the word "find." Intends to find, not not that he's found the answer, but that he intends to find. Because you always you always know you already know if somebody writes a book that says this is the guaranteed way to get rich. It's usually some uh, stuff that they uh, plagiarize from the secret or something like that. So, uh, so this is the thirty-nine for the uh, the new book, and I don't I don't know when I'm gonna get started on this book. I'll see uh, what I can do, but uh, I I'll see what I can do, but I don't know when I'm gonna get started on that book. Um. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, that's all I wanted to say is that I'm starting a new book and uh, uh, ten the title. I, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't really fit for a paperback book. I. I, I mean, uh, maybe it should be more descriptive. It seems. It seems more elegant. It seems more elegant, like the title. To be the richest, what would I do? Uh, it, it explains itself without getting into too much detail, which is which can be uh, valuable. Plus, um, being that I am modeling myself after uh, George Classen's book, which is uh, 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 The Richest Man in Babylon, I, I have it around here somewhere. I forgot where I put it. But being that I am modeling my book after George uh, S. Clason's book, uh, The Richest Man in Babylon, it might be advantageous to te to write the uh, write the book as a as a collection of stories, just like just like uh, just like uh, just like George S. Clason's book. So it might be adv advantageous to write the book uh, as a as basically a collection of 
uh, cautionary tales or you know all, uh, alternate fiction or uh, I'm sorry not, not alternate fiction alternate history alternate history or just like a day in the life or whatever I mean it, it probably it would probably be a little bit too on the nose if, if I were to base it in Babylon ancient Babylon so I don't know so that's all I wanted to say for this video and I wanted to get on uh, get on with my other also I wanted to say that I'm completely uh, booked from I'm completely booked from uh, June 31st to uh, I'm completely scheduled from June 31st to uh, the end of October so which means that I really uh, should be getting started on these an these uh, annual albums and uh, so that should be fun but I'm pretty much done I'm, I mean all I, all I need is n November and December and I'll be done for the year as far as videos are concerned and then I can get started on next year's video so Thank you very much, everyone, and have a great day, and goodbye.